First impressions to do, who's up for it? I am, are you? Let's do this. What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Clone and if you're tuned in as always people, thank you for doing so. I know everybody has busy, hectic lives so if you're taking the time out of your day to watch my content, I thank you very much. Right, this is First Impressions and this is come from the house of Maze in Tahiti and this is Velvet Coffee. He has four in his coffee collection. I own one already, which is Iris Stretto. Great coffee, Iris fragrance. Love this fragrance. So this is going to be first impressions on, this will be the second one that I've got. Plus, I ordered the other two. They're on their way. So I will have all four fragrances in his coffee collection. I believe he's got a chocolate collection and a vanilla collection. And I think he's got five fragrances in each of them. Like the five in the vanilla and five in the chocolate. But four in the coffee. So we're just going to crack it open. First impressions. See what we get. I'm going to stop rambling. So there's the box. I believe this is all recycled. There is notes on the back. I haven't looked. I've literally just got this through the door. I've brought it up and it is literally first impressions. I'm not even gonna look. This slides off like so. I'm gonna take the sleeve off. Obviously people, let me know if you've tried any from this house. I do not hear hardly nobody talking about Maison Tahiti. And let me tell you something, if this is anything to go by, Iris Stretto, I mean, it's a shame. It's a shame that people don't know about brands like this, or if they do, fair play, but I don't hear nobody speaking about this on YouTube, hardly nobody. All right. Get the bottle out. This is a 100ml bottle and it is at a perfume concentration that you can see that's probably just all recyclable, which is good. Let's get that out of the way. And there is your bottle. Like I say, 100ml at the perfume velvet coffee. Cap clicks into place. It's not a metal cap. It's plastic, but it's about the juice at the end of the day. So let's get a test strip and let's spray it. Let's see what this one is saying. Uh, come on. God, that's nice. God, that's sweet. Let's spray one on hand. Not bad atomizer. Sort of a short, wide puff of mist. Right, you, you obviously get the coffee, but it's more, this is woody, sweet, I'm getting the coffee, but the coffee's, is it, the coffee's coming across a little bit, ever so slightly creamy, so I do not know if there's sandalwood in this, but I'll tell you what I think I'm getting is vetiver, there's some spice in there, Definitely sweet, not overly sweet. Not overly sweet. I can't get my words out. But like the coffee is in the back. Like in Irish Stretto, the coffee was more pronounced to my nose and what it is in this velvet coffee. It's nice, it's warm, cozy, sweet, woody, a little bit creamy. There's definitely, there's a little bit of spice there. Right, let's look at the notes. Nice fragrance. That's it, it's all, it's almost got this vegetal sort of nuance going on with it. 
this is nice. Not off-putting by any means. This is nice. At the minute, I do prefer Iris Stretto. The only reason being is because I can detect quite a lot of iris in that fragrance. But there's something creamy here. It's nice. It's very nice. Very pleasing on the nose. Great cold weather fragrance that would be. And like I say, if you don't like coffee and scents, it's there. The fragrance is, it is a coffee scent, but it's way in the back. Like all the other notes are sort of rounding this coffee nuance, so to speak. So it's, it's just lurking in the back. Very nice fragrance. I'm happy with that. Blind by success. Right, let's look up the notes. Right, we've got cardamom, CO2, cocoa up top, benzoin resonoid, cedarwood heart, Virginia, coffee are called, oris are called, and carrot oil. Right, it would be the carrot, I believe, mixing in with the oris that makes it vegetal. Sandalwood oil, oak moss absolute, levelwood, patchouli heart, vetiver oil, Haiti, and vanilla accord, and broxin. Great smelling fragrance. This is nice. God, this is good. It is good. So, to my nose at the minute, the iris is more pronounced in this. This comes across a little bit more lipsticky so to speak and the oris or the iris in this is mixing in with that carrot oil and it's sort of giving it this earthy vegetal sort of nuance it's the sandalwood is making this creamy so it's taking the edge off of that coffee nuance that is why i said the coffee sitting in the back great smelling fragrance Two successes from the house of Mason Tahiti. Very nice. Impressed with that. That is great. It's These are niche fragrances. And for what you can pick these up for, I ordered these on Perfume Dreams. And I believe they're about £87 UK money. But I got this one on sale for £55, I believe. That is a still, even at full retail for £87, these fragrances are worth the pickup without a doubt because they're different. They're not like any designer that you're going to smell. So if you want to smell a bit unique, try this house. The quality, like this is smooth, it's sweet. There is nothing off putting about this at all. And like I say again, for the price, go on Perfume Dreams website. Type in Maize and Tahiti and all these fragrances have come up and you will see that the prices, they're great. They really are. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. I'm sorry if I rambled on a little bit. I get a little bit carried away because I get excited. Let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances. Let me know if you've tried any from the house. Let me know if you've even heard of the house. Like I say, I've got another two coming from the coffee collection. And then at some point, I will dive into the vanilla and the chocolate collection. Right, people, remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for the support. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers.